greetings from the Fredericktown homestead. I got the back lawn done. Step tracker says that's not enough to be physically fit, but uh, I humbly disagree. They say it's 2.81 miles that I walked today so far pushing this lawnmower. I'm thankful for the rain we had that made the grass grow. I'm very thankful that this little kitty decided to show back up in my life. I thought she might have been gone. I'm thankful for the mower. Yeah. Taro, recycler, personal pace, auto drive. Quite a machine. Starts first pull most all the time. And uh, I don't know if you can tell, but that last section I did over on that side, right along here, I uh, tucked the wheels up one more half notch. Didn't seem to make much difference, but uh, I was experimenting. I'm thankful that I got a 10 cubic feet, 10 cubic foot wagon load of grass to put on the compost. I'm thankful for that. That's, uh, that's quite something. And I did all that before noon. It's Friday. I could have gone to the Owl Creek live, uh, produce auction and uh, where well, they won't let me sell my crates and uh, I could have spent some money on both gas and whatever I bought there but instead I stayed home and mowed while it was cool now I hope to work in the shop I really like to make a set of shelves I'm thankful for the shop, for the space I'm thankful for this place. I'm thankful for the time that Roger and Sandra spent here to make it so that it was as livable as it is. I'm thankful for whoever is going to come next, hopefully. It's Friday. Tonight I have a 5 o'clock pickup. One of the pallet shop owners will probably be paid in uh, wood. I wouldn't mind that at all. And, uh, or money, but I filled up the van. It cost me $86 again. Ouch. Yeah, at least I got a full tank of gas. I'm thankful for that. Tomorrow I pick up at 8 o'clock in the morning and we go over to Holmes County for the day. Uh, I have that tray full of brand stamp, whatever you call them, things in there. And uh, maybe I'll be able to peddle them over in Holmes County. I put a thing on Facebook just the last time I stopped and uh, took a picture of all of the items out on the fence and titled the post 4th of July fence sale and uh, we'll see what happens with that these fuel prices uh, you know a couple cents here a couple cents there really it shouldn't matter but uh, boy yesterday it, it went up by um, well, 15 and 3, that's 18 cents it went up yesterday. 18 cents it jumped. And, uh, ouch. My prices have to go up, and that means I get less runs. 
you know, when my prices go up, they just don't hire me as much. And uh, they either stay home or find somebody cheaper. But uh, I have to raise my prices. I hate, I hate charging a dollar a mile. That makes me sound like some Holmes County Yoder Toter. But uh, that's pretty much what I got to charge today. I got to charge a buck a mile. I charged that much for the run to Michigan yesterday morning. And he was real pleased with that. He asked me right after he paid me. He says, you interested in more trips? I got I go up there more often. I'll call you next time. I left him with my phone number on one of those branded card things. And... Uh, he seemed to be happy with the price. Yeah, it's a day to be thankful. I really don't think life as we know it here in America has long to go. I think Before the, this, I've said this before, but I think before the end of this administration, we will see the end of the United States as we know it. Uh, the virus was child's play compared to what we're headed into here. Pretty sure. But until then, Grass clippings, lawnmower, shop, wood, lots of wood, compost, and, of course, a livestock guardian dog. Doesn't know his own strength. I seen both uh, Siamese cat and white bib today. White bib, uh... I think if I hadn't been pushing the lawnmower, I think I could have walked right up to him. He's actually right here, right? Uh, tall weeds here. But I was coming up across the lawn here with the lawnmower going. And uh, he fled when I got about halfway to him. And Siamese, I'm seeing more and more of Siamese. I put food out there for him this morning. And... Uh, yeah, and uh, kitten, black kitten with a special needs, she should have moved yesterday or today to her new, another sister's house, and the kitten's going to stay with her until the 1st of August, so kitten will be even bigger when it gets back, hopefully the move is okay with the kitten. Life at the Frederick Town Homestead. It's nice to have a day to be at home. Uh, didn't get home much at all yesterday. And I felt a little guilty that I didn't find female cat. It's nice that she did show up. I don't know where she got off to. She was here just a minute ago. But, uh, The crop farmer had the USDA here with United States government license plates. We had them here for the morning showing them different things. I don't know what that's all about. You can't be thankful for the US government. I'm sorry, I just don't I don't have no truck with those folks. I I'm going to go work in a shop. God bless.